what a time we live in. You know, being part of the gaming industry, I guess, on YouTube and live streaming, Twitch and all that, you've heard of incidents of people getting swatted. And basically what swatting is, is a prank that somebody calls the cops and files a false report of some kind of situation happening at your house that causes the cops and the SWAT team to show up and demand that you come out with your hands up while you're live streaming. So it's a it's a juvenile prank that's actually become a lot of, you know, of a problem recently. A lot of prevalent swatting happens to a lot of major people on video platforms such as Twitch. And unfortunately, finally the SWAT that people always said, oh man, one of these days somebody's going to get killed, happened. Unfortunately, somebody just had their life ended by a police officer from a falsely reported SWAT call where it was a hostage situation that was reported. They opened the door and bam, cop shot the guy and the guy is now dead. So at what price is a human life worth for a prank? Well, get this. So there has been an arrest. I'm looking at a news article. There's been a couple of other places that have covered this incident, including Keemstar from Drama Alert. I'm going to just go over one quick little article about it. It says, The man believed to be responsible for falsely reporting a hostage situation and homicide incident that resulted in the death of an innocent man took part in an interview just hours before his arrest. So, this interview that's in question, of course, is Keemstar, as I mentioned. He actually managed to get the guy who goes by Tyler Swatistic Raj Barris, who's from South LA. And keep in mind, he's a very young kid, didn't identify his age. Um, basically, he reported a swatting to local authorities because one of the members of Two people that were playing Call of Duty basically got into an argument in a competitive match. Over a dollar fifty that they lost, keep in mind. A dollar fifty, which I have like eighty in my pocket. So a human life was only worth a dollar fifty. This is disgusting. Swatting has become a common problem. It's been happening a lot. It's very prevalent, as I mentioned. Uh, I can think of all sorts of Twitch streamers and live streamers that get this done to them. A lot of times, it's from people that are just trolling them. They think it's a new prank. It's haha -ha funny. But it's a crime. It's a crime to call a false threat. And the guy that actually was killed, his name was Andrew Finch. Um, as I mentioned, it's in Kansas City. A seven-year veteran police officer shot Andrew Finch when he opened the door, which is quite unfortunate. And this is a very touchy subject to some people, especially with the whole Blue Lives Matter and police brutality and things of that. But that is not... That's besides the point right now. What happened is a human life was ended because of a prank, because of a SWAT call. And that's where I draw the line now. I, I was like, okay... This is upsetting. But then I watched Keemstar's video about it and where he interviewed the actual guy who reported the call and I I could not... Ugh, I mean, if there was any way that I could grab my fist and choke that guy that reported the call, I would. Because this kid basically danced around the idea that it was his responsibility that this gentleman was killed, that Andrew was killed. Because he didn't pull a trigger. His exact words were, I didn't pull a trigger. I didn't murder anybody. I don't see how this is solely my fault. Oh, man. Hearing the guy, he goes on, he says, Oh, I've been responsible for, you know, a couple other conventions where he calls a false report to big events, MLG-related events, to get them evacuated just for fun. This is a kid who in the in the interview says he's just over 18, does not do any harm by doing this. That it's just for fun. That he didn't mean to target an individual. That he just was requested by somebody to swat this guy and that that guy was talking shit. This is the type of people that make the gaming community look bad as guys like this guy, like Tyler, like Swatistic. 
He was arrested recently, thankfully, not too long after Keemstar interviewed him. And I gotta give it to Keemstar. In this interview, he was actually pushing the fact that it was this kid's responsibility for calling that false claim that the cops only arrived because that guy made the phone call and that somebody's life is dead. That guy feels no remorse at all. This guy is a 100% total dick bag. I could not believe my ears on what I was hearing. I'm going to link the interview below as well if you guys wanted to listen to it. But just the fact that this kid... A was like, oh, I didn't do it. I feel, I personally believe it wasn't my fault. It disgusted me. The fact that swatting has reached this level disgusts me. Now, I know people are like, Eric, you're bringing attention to this. You have a video on YouTube. You're monetizing it. You're talking about it. This is stuff that needs awareness. The consequences of swatting and pranks and doing illegal activities like this that could potentially harm others indirectly without you being involved needs more attention. Um, I hope this kid that got arrested for calling in the SWAT call, even though he wasn't even in the original argument, I hope he burns in hell. I'm not joking. I hope he has a tough time. I hope he stays in prison for a long time and learns his lesson. And I hope other people that contribute to pranks like swatting learned a lesson from this. An innocent life was lost over a Call of Duty match that lost a dollar fifty. Think long and hard about that. That's I think that's very disgusting and very sickening. It broke my heart to read this situation because now that kid who actually was killed and shot with his family in the house. The mom was getting up, she saw her son get shot and the cops actually escorted them out and handcuffed them out of the house. They had to watch their family member lay on the floor and die. Because the cops didn't call the ambulance until after the whole situation was figured out. And it was too late by that point. Nobody could even take care of that kid because the cops thought it was a hostage situation. And that it was possible homicide incident as well. I think... This situation, as some people are messaging me, talking about it right now, is something that is just very crucial to this gaming community. If you're any part of Circle of Friends and any of them encourage this type of behavior or think it's funny to play pranks like swatting on somebody, for your safety and for your own sake, please just, just butt out. The best thing that we could do is come together as a whole and stop encouraging this type of behavior because somebody just lost their life over dollar fifty and I think it's very disgusting in my opinion. And I gotta give props to Keemstar. I know he has a big reputation of being a prick and a jerk and all he does is talk about drama, but I think he did really good um basically creating a confession tape. This was a confession tape that can be used by the prosecuting attorneys to put this guy behind bars for a long time. So I got to give him kudos to that. Um, I honestly didn't want to make a video about this. But I just felt that I needed to get it off of my chest. Because I could not believe how sad this was. So yeah guys. That's it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching.